Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Nymphika. On this video you will find out how I created this Egypt-inspired headpiece that I would use in a photo shoot and for my LARP character. As my base material I'm going to use Warbla, which is a thermoplastic sheet. Enjoy! This is my friend Karki. She's teaching me and helping me with the process. We started by tracking the pattern of this base piece onto soft foam and then we cut it out. The next step is that we are going to cut a piece from Warbla. The piece should be about one centimeter or like a quarter of an inch bigger all around compared to the foam. Warbla has this shiny part which has glue on. That is the side that you put against the foam. And then it's time to heat it up using hot air gun. That is not suspicious at all. <laughs> Yay! After Warpla has reached the working temperature, we're pressing the foam into the Warpla piece. Then we turn the piece around and wrap the edges. When Warpla becomes shiny and soft, you can shape it into any form you like. If Warpla cools down, you may always reheat it. The idea is that Warpla stays in shape after it cools down again. Pink snake. And now I'm going to do some feathers from this soft foam. This will form a feather-like texture to the headpiece's wing parts, or whatever you'd like to call them. When cutting the foam it's important to remember that the smallest details such as tiny corners won't be as sharp after you've covered the foam with Warpla. So make everything slightly larger, make any possible holes and cuts wider and more visible. Then you start the covering process. Process Warpla by heating it up, then tapping it with your fingers, gently pressing it to fit the foam texture under it. Take it further and start doing the details by searching the edges of the feathers. Heated Warpla is a bit hot and even if it doesn't burn badly, you may want to use different tools to do this, such as teaspoon or tweezers. I'm simply using my nails because it feels, well, handy. And then again, wrapping the edges. No need to be afraid if there are rips like this. The material can be blended and refitted. It's like some cookie dough. Karki is starting to give the headpiece wings some shape. The material has already cooled down, so it needs to be gently reheated. She's holding the piece until it cools down enough to maintain the shape. Then it's time to check out if the shape is what we want. And process the second one. We realized that it was setting a little bit too low, so we cut it. And now we're going to set it like slightly higher, about here. It was first like here and that would have been of course well, too low. Then it's time to fit the wings to the headdress piece. Now the base is almost done. I will continue on my own and move to decorations. Okay, so the next thing would be to create horns here and I also have this ball magic but I don't think that it's, it's that visible during daytime, so uh, <laughs> I will try to figure out a way to give it some color. Anyway, that's gonna be here. Sorry about the birds. Yeah, and this... <laughs> we will definitely add this at some point. The spray needs to happen very carefully. The ball has tiny holes and we don't want to ruin the leads inside. Okay, so I just cut a little hole to the base of the horns to make it fit the tower on top of the headpiece. The balance of the headpiece still isn't quite what I want, so I will lift it up and make it more comfortable to wear using this cushion. And now I'm pretty much just adding extra decorations to the front. And next, time to start painting. 
I'm using metallic deco green gold which creates a very authentic metallic look. Then I'm using PBO's Fantasy Moon Pearl color, Chocolate. This color doesn't set evenly, but creates this sort of watery surface and makes it look more alive. Then some black, using PBO's Ceramic Black. Okay, starting to look pretty good. Oh, and that blue thing was made by wrapping Warbla around a blue glass pearl. I think now we need to hide that cushion. I'm using silky rose leaves and just let them go overlapping so that the cushion starts to remind <laughs> like a pine cone. I'm using just some random basic contact adhesive to glue the rose leaves. Moving to the front wings. I'm adding warbler on warbler. Yes, it sticks to itself if I didn't mention that already. Broken jewelry makes an excellent addition to a headpiece like this. I kind of tend to hoard this kind of stuff. I'm cutting this necklace in two halves and add the halves to the front wings. I'm actually using Warbla to attach the pieces to make sure that the necklace pieces won't move. And then I'm adding the surplus to random places that I feel that they fit into. Let's open Viva's rusty paint. I don't want to let any metal decorations to look too shiny or modern, so I will paint them with this rust mimicking paint. There we go. Now it has these post-apocalypse vibes. I think we're ready to go to the photo shoot. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have created a headpiece, please link it down below. And remember to click like if you like this video and of course, subscribe. See you in next video. Bye.